Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Jolkovsky. We're here with the accountant, Jordan Weinberg. How are you, Jordan? Good, thanks. You? Good, man. So, Jordan is an accountant. Uh, who do you work for, Jordan? MMP, so a mid-sized Toronto accounting firm. All right. And uh, do you have a specialty? I do a lot of real estate, uh, a lot of small business. Okay. So, our viewers, uh, understand that it's coming close to tax season or we're in the midst of tax season so a lot of people out there are scrambling to get their books in order their receipts and everything so our topic today is is the importance of finding a good bookkeeper so can you give us your advice on finding a good book bookkeeper and the benefits of having a good bookkeeper so first and foremost um, finding good good bookkeeper often is uh, more difficult than it seems you have to have the right fit with the right person um, there's a couple of resources you can use, obviously, you can talk to your accountant and they generally have worked with bookkeepers before of similar type of clients. So you know if you're a real estate agent or if you're um, own multi uh, unit investment properties, maybe they have a good bookkeeper that, that's good and they've seen a lot of those type of transactions in day to day business. Um, so that's a good resource to start. There's also the you own know, search on the internet and the, uh, the Yellow Pages type of uh, resources or just ask around from friends that you know are doing the same thing that you're doing. They can often you know, refer you a, a good, book, good, good bookkeeper. Like people can call you too, right? They can call me in and uh, we actually work with a number of good, good bookkeepers and you know, if you ever want a name, uh, you can let us know and we can find a good fit. Okay. And uh, the importance of hiring a good bookkeeper? So one of the main reasons is uh, compliance costs. So whether it be your, your personal or corporate tax returns, you want to be paying uh, your accountant to do your taxes and minimize your taxes, not to clean up your books. Just based on the rates, a bookkeeper is often cheaper than you know if you get a good tax accountant. Uh, so that's you know that can reduce your compliance costs or at least spend the money um, where you get the most bang for your buck. Um, it also could reduce you know if you ever got audited by the CRA, uh, having books or CRA auditors are human beings, and you know if they're frustrated with the financial data you give them, they you know they're a little more they can reassess a little quicker. So. You know, you want to be able to get invoices quickly, and that all starts with good books. Uh, another main reason is if you have silent investors or you're in a joint venture and um, they want the, the data quickly, you know, it looks good on you as a management or someone handling the properties to be able to, prov to provide that without a really long delay. And if you have poor books, you know, there often can be that delay by the time you turn stuff around in order to get good working order. Um, and also, the numbers don't lie a lot of times. So if you, if you know the inputs, um, to your financial statements or your financial data are solid. It allows you as a management to make, to make a decision quickly. Um, beyond that, you know, there's, there's still more good reasons like, uh, you know, if you ever um, opportunities that come up. For example, uh, if you want to apply for financing quickly and opportunities come up or if, you know, you want to sell something quickly and, you know, maybe it's a private sale and the other side wants to see some financial data. You know, if it takes time to put the data together because, you know, you haven't been doing up-to-date books or you, you know, you're not comfortable working with your bookkeeper or your numbers, that could delay a you know, potential opportunity you know, that can make you a lot of money. Um, and then the last thing I would say is, is most people in real estate are good, you know, they're good at doing what they're doing in real estate. So if you can make a lot of money doing what you're doing and you're really good at it, you know, why spend the time uh, cleaning up your books? You, know, you can usually pay an hourly rate, which is pretty reasonable for someone to do that, and you can make more money doing what you do best. Very valid points, uh, and for those of you uh, wondering what the cost is, generally what the what's the bookkeeper cost or the hourly rate? Right. So, generally speaking, for like a local one-person shop bookkeeper, uh, it's thirty to seventy dollars an hour, and you generally get what you pay for. It. You know, the more expensive it is, usually the better the bookkeeper they are. Sometimes you know you get a deal. Above seventy dollars an hour, you know, start getting to hundred, two hundred dollars an hour. You start getting to professional bookkeeping companies. And you want to know, and that's if you have more properties, more things going on. Uh, it's almost like you're having a part-time controller to a certain degree when you start getting into these professional bookkeeping companies. So that starts to bring the cost up. I mean, if you ever wanted to uh, learn the contact of any of these companies, you know, I'd be happy to provide it to anybody. But yeah, it generally starts at 30, 30 to 70 dollars is the range, with 40 to 50 is the average. Okay. So if if, uh, if anyone wants to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Um, I can be reached by, uh, you can call me anytime. Uh, should I get my number? 416 515 3857. Or I can be reached by email at jordan 
Weinberg at MNP Dossier. Perfect. Thank you. And I'll put that below the blog so you guys, uh, if you have any questions of bookkeeping or accounting advice, uh, Jordan, uh, you are qualified to do uh, to advise them and uh, to speak with them. Right? I'd be happy to help. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.